morning everybody it's just started raining and obviously because my bathroom is technically outside you may hear some rain and it's got a bit gloomy so i'm sorry about that okay hopefully that lighting's a bit better yeah i've had a bit of a turbulent week basically like i mentioned in my last video i went back to singapore and as soon as i got to singapore i was sick again yay i don't know what to say i have been sick so many times in the past like three months that it's becoming a bit of a joke now so i had all these plans in singapore pretty much just bed bound the whole time i did manage to catch up with a couple of friends for dinners and stuff but other than that it was just a complete disaster and i was so upset because i had all this content planned i was really dying to go back to have curry rice and like all these spots that i love and just none of it happened. I completely lost my appetite. I was feeling nauseous every day. And it was just, yeah, such a disappointment. Um, that's what happened. I'm currently back in Bali and I'm feeling much better aside from hormones. <laughs> um, I'm feeling well again, so that's good. But yeah, I'm really sorry that I kind of like teased that I would be bringing you Singapore content and then and then nothing happened. I am really gutted about it. But what can you do? There's nothing we can do. Please ignore this stain on my top. I have a habit of buying new clothes and just ruining them like within a week. I always say to myself, like, I should never buy cream. I should never buy white clothes because I always stain them somehow. And this is just a classic example of that. So I probably be a bit more careful, but I think it's just a personality trait at this point. I'm actually quite tanned in real life, but this camera is not doing it justice. Although I am filming on a fancy new camera, so let me know what you guys think. Do you see a difference? Do you think everything looks better? Like it's really beautiful and it is an amazing camera for video. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, I think In more exciting news, we had new prints launched this week on the House of Pangea print shop. I think you guys are honestly going to love them. They look so, so beautiful. For those of you who don't know, House of Pangea is a print store that I opened up online. So if you're looking for some premium quality art for your home, for hanging on your walls, um, then do go check us out. We have really beautiful prints available and I'm sure there's something on there that you're going to love. I'm also giving everyone a 15% discount code if you go subscribe on the website you will get your 15% off code there as well so I thought I'd show you some of the prints because they are honestly so so pretty this might be my favorite print on the website to be honest it's called sunset barrels and the colors in this are just so amazing we've got this incredible baby pink which goes into lilac and the turquoise blues of the ocean and these waves these barrels are really really rare um, especially to capture so I just love this print so much we've got the boat there and if you just want to bring some like beautiful pastel colors into your home um, or bring some color to your walls then this is definitely an amazing choice and it's called whitewash waves but I actually might change the name of it the name is pending um, but this is a beautiful surf scene that was shot in Bali some surfers here honestly just like the camera it doesn't really do it justice but the details are just so so beautiful and honestly i am so in love with this one we also have this print it's called the golden surf this has like a golden yellowy tint to it and um yeah again just all the details of the surfers walking into the ocean i think it will definitely get people's attention when it's hanging on the wall as well it's just something that people can really have a good look at so when i went through changi airport I went through duty free and I picked up some Baileys because I was like oh my god I haven't had Baileys for so long and honestly I've been having this every night and I don't know if that's <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing but it's just so easy to drink it's so creamy and delicious it's like a sweet treat at the end of every evening and I'm getting through this like crazy so don't know if I should be encouraging it but if you if you want like a really lovely way to just like relax in the evening get yourself some Baileys. It really reminds me of home at Christmas. I would only usually have it at Christmas, but now it's become 
my nightly routine. Apparently one of my favourite breakfast spots called Rise in Changu. And I am so hungry this morning. I'm so glad that my appetite has come back because my appetite has been like non-existent for the past three week three weeks with sicknesses and illnesses and it's been annoying and today I'm feeling hungry and it's just so nice to like have that appetite. So I was like, I wanna go to Rise and I wanna get the Akuri Scramble Dosa. They do the most incredible dosa here. You wanna try authentic dosa when you're in Changu, you have to come to this place. It's also just a beautiful spot. Everyone comes here, like I come here very often to work remotely. Also their food is amazing, so that's what I've ordered and then I've got myself this cooling green juice which is honestly the best green juice in Changu. I feel like I've tried them all at this point and this one is winning. So this morning's weather is pretty overcast but I'm actually really enjoying these overcast mornings just because it can get so hot here and I'm just enjoying like a little bit of a breeze and it makes it much more easier to walk. So this is a walk that is right on my doorstep. I'm very lucky to live in the middle of um, the rice paddies although the season has just kind of come to the end so everything has just been cropped which means that they crop everything and then they actually burn the fields to kind of restart the process over again. So currently the fields are not as bright, beautiful green as they were about a month ago, but obviously the cycle's gonna start again. These are my current views. Um, what's kind of, oh look, you can see over there how green it was. This was all very green and now that's what it looked like over there. Um, lots of developments popping up all around this area, which is kind of crazy to see because I do think that it won't be long before all of this land is taken and built on. So I'm kind of just really enjoying it while it's still fairly empty. If you didn't catch my latest video, I talked about the differences between Indonesia and well, in specifically Bali and Singapore and things that I'd notice. And one of the things was that it is just like Bali is not a walkable place. It's not somewhere where you necessarily go for walks. There are little places where you can find a nice walk, but excuse me, doggy. But really, it's more of a place where you get around on motorcycles. So it's nice to find places where you can actually just enjoy a nice walk. 
so yeah i think i'm gonna wrap this vlog up here guys thank you so much for watching and if you have any requests about what you want to see in my future videos i did just ask on instagram you can go follow me on instagram if you want to see what i'm up to every day but yeah i asked you guys what kind of content you want to see from me this year and if there's anything specifically that you want me to show you in bali then do let me know and i will see you very soon in my next one bye guys Thank you.